Hi everyone, welcome to He Said, She Said. I'm Renee. Today marks the first day, the first project in my art studio. We're all moved in, everything is set up, and now I'm ready to go. And so I'm gonna start small, and today I'm just going to be watercolor painting some simple birthday cards for my mom and dad. So when we come back, we'll get started. Okay, so as I said in the intro, we're gonna start small, start simple, but boy am I grateful that I have quite a bit of supplies. I love to shop for supplies. I don't know about you, but there's something about going to the craft store. It's inspiring. And so, um, yes, I do enjoy collecting supplies, but now I'm ready to use them. So um, in this section, I have all of my watercolor paints, and I just want to point out that I am a total novice. I've taken one watercolor, class and haven't really done it since um, but it inspired me to go get some supplies but let me just let me just share this with you so here's here's one of my packages of watercolor paints these are from Ross for $4.99 I think I'm going to use this other one this other set this is $24 $5.99 from Ross so I am starting off with some very basic supplies but I'm not going to let that limit me. So if you are interested in doing something like this, just go and get some inexpensive supplies. Um, I have heard some negative reviews about some of the Dollar Tree paints that if you're going to do it, you might be frustrated with some of their supplies. So I don't know, I might be frustrated with this too. So if you have um, a recommendation for beginner level paints that don't cost a fortune, please let me know in the comments below. So. Anyway, so I've got my watercolor paints. I'm gonna use this larger paint well. And then these are, I have separated out my brushes. I have um, acrylics here, and then these are all specific for watercolor paints. And then because I am just going to be making some cards, I don't need to have, I do have some watercolor paper, but I'm just, I'm gonna reach up into my card basket and just get some simple cardstock, car, pre-made cards. I have envelopes to go with those, but I think that'll be really simple. Nothing fancy for this. All right, so here we are at the desk. We have all of our supplies in front of us. And I just wanna re remind you all that I am a beginner. I am a novice. I'm just a person who is somewhat creative and isn't afraid to try something new. So. Um, if you are seeing me do a technique that's maybe a little non-traditional or if you have suggestions for how I can improve my technique, I would love to hear it. Um, I am, again, just be, be kind because I am learning something new. But um, anyway, I'm hoping that this video inspires you to try something new. All right, so all of my supplies are here. I've got my tubes of paint. I've got my, my clean tray. I've got my brushes and my brushes and some watercolor pencils over here in this in this picture. Um, I want to just share with you what I'm going to be doing first. So my parents' birthdays are both in January, so I thought it'd be fun to be able to paint them some birthday cards. Now my parents are both gracious people, so if it's not perfect, they won't mind. They'll appreciate the sentiment behind it. So my mom um, when I was a kid, she had a flower bed of four o'clocks and they were so beautiful. And every year she would save the seeds and replant them. So um, in my Western, my Sunset Western Garden book, there is this kind of a beautiful watercolor. Can you see that? Kind of a watercolor of um, some four o'clocks. And so I'm going to try to replicate that today. So I have no, um, <laughs> No pretense that it's going to look that good, but that's my inspiration for this. So I have my cardstock here, and again, you know, I've got probably five or six of these. I'm just going to fold it. This is just a pre made card. Um, you could get the um, watercolor paper, and maybe that would be a good idea. Um, but I think what I want to do first is I'm going to use my colored pencils to create a sketch of this. And because this orientation in this in um, this book is more um, portrait rather than landscape, I think I'm going to do it 
also landscape. So I'm just gonna use my colored pencils and do a little bit of sketching. And these watercolor pencils, I've, I've used them before. What's nice is when you outline something, you can use water to blend. So if you were, when you were a kid, if you had those coloring books that um, you just took water and you paint, they paint with water books, it's kind of the same effect. But I'm going to be filling this in with my, with my other watercolor, but I just need to have some kind of an outline. All right, so let's start with some flowers. Let's see, let me put these all here. It's kind of an orange. I don't really want orange, but that's okay. I'll mix it and make it more of a pinky purple. Don't believe four o'clock's come in purple, but today my mom likes purple, so we're gonna kind of go with that. I'm just gonna do a light purple. So they have sort of a, looks like a five, five petal, almost like a heart.
right, so mom's card is done. I'm just going to move it out of harm's way so I don't spill on it or something. And now I'm going to start on dad's card. Now for my dad, I want to create a, um, I guess a memory, recreate a memory. Um, a couple of years ago, my dad and my brother and I went fishing, I went to visit them. Um, David and I went to visit them to Indiana and we, we stayed at this little lake cabin and my dad and my brother and I went out fishing on my brother's birthday. And so I wanted to recreate that scene. And so having somehow the, the tip of the boat with a pole in the water and the lake shore. So that's what I'm gonna be creating here. I just, as a kid, we used to do a lot of fishing. We would go to Minnesota. I just had so much fun. I had so many great memories of fishing with my dad. So I thought it would be a fun birthday card to recreate kind of this experience that we had a couple of summers ago together.
Oh my goodness, this was so much fun. What a great way to spend a couple of hours on a rainy day together painting with you. And I'm really pleased with the way that these cards turned out. They're very simple, um, but I know my parents will love them. Could I sell them? No. My dad would probably buy them though, right? So he's a little biased. But anyway, super simple, really minimal supplies, um, but I'm really pleased with the result. Um, one quick note, I did take a moment to spray them with some of this acrylic sealer, just so that way they're protected when I mail them, so in case they get wet, they don't, they don't run and get ruined. So I did take a moment to do that. Anyway, I just want to encourage you, you know, this was a simple project, didn't take very many supplies. I've got my, my paint from Ross, um, but I just want to encourage you to be able to try something new. Um, if you are inspired to paint something yourself, please leave your comments down below and let me know what you're trying to do. And also, if there's something, some technique that you think I could improve upon, I'd love to hear it. Again, I am a total novice, a newbie at this, so I'm not trying to teach anybody how to do this. Um, but if there's something you could say, oh, you know, if you try this, you might get a better outcome. I would love to hear that too. So this is a learning community. Definitely would love to learn from some of you who have way more experience with this than I do. So anyway, um, thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Um, I'd love to have you come back and we'll do some more projects together. Share your ideas with me. I'm just really grateful that you spent the day with me today. Anyway, until we see each other again, I hope you're all doing well and take care.